welcome back to Cooking with Evie. My name's Yvette, and I like to make videos about grocery hauls, cooking recipes, and other miscellaneous stuff. So if that sounds like it's up your alley, then make sure to consider subscribing and checking out my other videos. I know I said that I was not gonna do another big haul for a while, but I ended up going to Aldi because I wanted to buy some more flatbread. We made some delicious quesadillas with those flatbreads and some more cilantro because I wanna make guacamole this weekend. I bought a lot of avocados at the farmer's market and I don't want them to go bad and what better than a nice delicious guacamole. I found a lot of good deals at Aldi and spent about $75. So that's kind of like in the middle, not too much, but we're not gonna to go to the grocery store this weekend. So I figure it would be good to have something to hold us over. I don't plan on buying groceries until maybe next Wednesday. I'm going to try out a drive through kind of farmer's market style thing where they sell like boxes for $10. So that'll be the next time I shop. I think 75 bucks is not bad to hold us over. That's normally kind of what we spend anyway. So I'm gonna stop rambling. If you wanna see what I got, then just make sure to keep watching. All right, so this is the haul and for 75 bucks, I think we got a pretty decent amount. This is what I love about shopping at Aldi. You can really buy some great stuff that not brand name, but really the same quality for a very, big fraction of the price. Anyhow, I'm gonna start you off with the breads. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I did wanna buy some more flat bread so that we can make more quesadillas. If these have a pretty good shelf life, so I don't mind having them out for too long. I decided to buy flat bread, the original kind, and then the one as a multi-grain with flax. I tried the original one last time, it's 80 calories, and the flax one is 100, probably because of that flax. But anyway, I wanted to give them a try, so I did decide to buy that. Bought some hamburger buns because in my last Walmart haul, we did buy some Morningstar chicken patties that are like vegetarian chicken sandwiches. So figured we would wanna have buns for that. And then the leftover buns I could probably freeze or make something else with. I did buy some more hot dog buns because we do have vegetarian hot dogs. So I wanted to have some bread for that. And these two pieces back there, actually funny story, there was like two or so ladies with some girls that approached me and asked if I wanted some bread. They were giving it away because their church gave them a lot of bread. Sometimes Publix donates to nonprofits or churches. Uh, the leftover bread or the bread that didn't sell by the sell-by date. And so I decided to grab a loaf back there. It looks like a French bread. And then some banana walnut loaf cake. Then as you can see the price there, that was almost $5. And I got that and the bread for free. So that was really kind and I'm very thankful. Don't worry guys, I did sanitize and wipe down everything. I wore my mask in the store, I'm taking the precautions. Anywho, I'm gonna take you over to the produce. I did buy a whole bunch of bananas. They were organic and like 40 something cents for organic bananas and I've been needing some bananas. Before you say it, I know I buy a lot of bananas. But believe me, I live with my husband and his brother and those guys can eat bananas. They take like a whole, I don't know what you call them in English, but a whole ramo. One of these they take in about a day. So I ran out of bananas and I need some because I'm trying to make some banana bread for you all. Share that recipe and anyway, I love banana bread. So I'm trying to make sure I have enough bananas so that I can make banana bread this weekend. So I did buy three that were pretty ripe and two that are not so ripe so that hopefully that will be enough to last us the week. Buy some cilantro, like I said, I wanted to make guacamole and that was a dollar, a little bit more than I normally pay, but I was in a pinch so I figured I'd buy it. I also bought some zucchini. Yesterday I made some zoodles. I have gotten really good with the veggetti, y'all. If you wanna see my first attempt, I'll try to link that video up here in the cards but I'm getting really, really good and the guys really liked it. So I wanna make some more. This was the last of the zucchini they had and this was about $1.80. Not a horrible price considering and these are the right shape. They're not too thick because the vegetti is, is not that high capacity. So thick zucchinis don't work. And then I bought these Roma tomatoes. There's four of them for a dollar, which I think is not bad. It was 25 cents basically each. I bought a pineapple for about $2, which is not terribly priced. Um, 
we ran out of pineapple and I love having pineapple in my smoothies and just having it for the guys to eat when they want. Some strawberries that I bought, they were about $2.19 give or take, a carton, so I did decide to buy one. And the organic strawberries in the carton were like $4, but I did want to buy some organic strawberries. Bobby Parrish from Flav City always talks about the Dirty Dozen and strawberries are on that Dirty Dozen list, so I, I'm trying to slowly transition into organic strawberries but they're pricey y'all so I bought some organic here I just let me show you the package there it goes organic strawberries I'm just going to tuck it back in so that you can see the rest of the haul and those were about a couple more cents than that carton they were like 250 260 something like that so I thought that was a pretty good deal I'm going to take you back here to the boxes I got some slow cooker liners from the Aldi brand the Boulder it brings four in comparison to my crock pot line liners those bring six but those are about two or three dollars and this was like about 180 so I wanted to give those a try to see if I should switch over into this brand I did buy some corn muffin mix. I have some corn muffin mix in the house, but I plan on making that soon. And if we like it, I wanted to have some as backup. I also buy this organic white shells and cheddar. This reminds me of the Annie's uh, white shells and cheddar, like macaroni and cheese that they make. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I might be the only one that's gonna eat this, but I figured I would give it a try. And for about a buck, I can't complain. Back there, you'll see some organic diced tomatoes. I did buy two cans of that. I wanna make chili, and I think it might just be good if I wanna make like a homemade marinara to have those on hand. Speaking of marinara, I did buy some organic marinara and organic tomato basil pasta sauces. There was a limit of two on these items, so I did buy two. And each jar was less than $2, if I'm not mistaken. And for organic pasta sauce, I will definitely take it. Behind the pasta sauce is some 100% pure grapeseed oil, and this is a high heat oil. I like to use it to cook and uh, like shallow fry things. So as I mentioned in my other video last week, I try to avoid canola and vegetable oil. So this grapeseed comes in clutch. That was about 519. Back there you'll see a jarritos and the tam uh, tamarind flavor. That was a dollar. Italian seasoned croutons. I bought those a few weeks ago and we're almost running out. So I figured I'd stock back up. That's about 80 cents. And I think they're really, really yummy. And you'll see here the knockoff Doritos Ranch chips. These were about 180. And if you look at a, tor a Doritos bag in the store, they're easily three to four dollars. So I think that is an amazing deal. Another good deal was this ground turkey. I did buy this as well a few weeks ago and I cooked some pasta with it yesterday and it was so delicious. That zucchini pasta, I cooked it with this ground turkey and some marinara and it was so doggone good. This is about two dollars a package, two dollars a pound. The refrigerated version of the ground turkey, the same specs, 85% lean, 15% fat, was about six dollars. Whereas I bought these two for less than six. It was about four dollars what I spent on that. And it's the same specs. It's 85% lean and 15% fat. The difference is, is that it just comes in a different format. This is like rock solid, whereas that one's a little bit easier to work with. But if you defrost it the night before, you should be fine. Next is a little treat I snuck in for myself. Bought these snack selects, sharp white cheddar, dried cranberries, and sea salted almond snack packs. This is like the off-brand Sargento version of the snacks. So I really like those Sargento ones. So I figured I would definitely like these. I'll give them a try and I'll let you know. But these were about $2.80 something for three, which comes out to less than a dollar each. Back there, I did buy some lasagna. As you can see, a little trend here, some marinara and lasagna. The guys really like their lasagna, so I like to have these noodles on hand. These are oven ready, but I always boil them anyway. I'm just going to boil them and do them like I normally do. I just couldn't find any other type of lasagna noodle, so this will have to do. And I might try making eggplant lasagna soon, so we'll see. Anywho, I bought some more Special K uh, fruit and yogurt cereal. I already have a box that I bought at Walmart a few weeks ago and it was like maybe three or so dollars. Anywho, I saw that at Aldi for like two something, so I figured I might as well stock up. And you'll see back here, I got one original flavor of almond milk in a carton. It's 60 calories and boy, let me tell you, I've been looking for this kind of milk forever in Walmart and I cannot seem to find anything but unsweetened. When I saw this for a dollar and like 
50 cents, if not less. Boy, let me tell you, I definitely went for it. And as you can see, I bought four. I bought one in original flavor and three in vanilla. The vanilla is a little bit higher in calories, but that's perfectly fine. I plan on keeping these in the pantry as a kind of like an emergency stash. I will still buy the refrigerated kind when I go to the store, but these are great to have on hand. Hurricane season will be here before we know it. So it's gonna be good to have these on hand. You'll see a whole milk. I got a little half gallon because sometimes we like to have that on hand and it can't hurt. Finishing up here with the vegetable broth. This is organic vegetable broth. Again, I do have some in the pantry, but I plan on using it soon, especially now that I have a backup. This was less than $2 and I'm telling you, I know you see a trend with organic, but I'm really trying to make sure I give my body good things with the exception of those ranch chips. Just ignore that. <laughs> but you know, I'm really trying to make sure I take care of my health and my body. So I think buying organic where you can is good, where you can't just try to take care of yourself. So that's just me. And I'm going to finish up with these last two non-food eye candles from the Huntington Home version. I really like these. These were about 3 or $4 each. The citrus and herbs smells so delicious. And the Coastal Spring is nice too. It's like a relaxing scent. I am running low on candles. My husband doesn't seem to think so, but I'm running low on candles. So when I saw these, I definitely snatched them up. There were different scents, but some of them smelled a little bit too much like candy. There was a strawberries and cream, way too sweet. I did not enjoy it, but these two, I really like the scents. So anyways, guys, that about wraps it up. This was my haul. Again, I spent about $75, but I think I bought really awesome quality items for an awesome, awesome price. So I cannot be mad at that. You can't beat it. Hope you guys enjoyed this haul and that you are taking care of yourselves. Please stay safe and let me know what you think down below. Take care guys, bye.